picking up where I left off, like I said, um, some people feel like since we're all Christians, we're going, but no, we have to be ready. Um, the Bible tells us to be ready, spirit, soul, and body for the coming of the Lord. The Bible talks about with the hope, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. And I don't think these dreams, like especially that one on the 13th of me being left behind is telling me my future of being left behind. I think God was warning me because 10 to 12 years prior to this, when I was about 16 to 18, I got a dream uh basically the rapture and being left behind if i'm backslidden because what happened was i was in a backslidden state i was young i went to bed um in my dream i woke up i was outside my old house it was a beautiful blue day out of nowhere i get this feeling jesus is coming jesus is coming so i started praying as hard as i could because i knew that i was backslidden and i remember praying so hard and so earnestly in this dream that I felt all strength like come out of my body because I was praying that hard. It was that exhausting begging. And I just remember being left and looking at the sky and the beautiful blue sky went black and the moon went the blood like a blood moon. And I heard a voice say, now you will have to go through the tribulation. And I immediately wake up after that. And I can literally hear a voice saying, warning, warning, warning. And I had the most supernatural, tangible, chilling feeling over me while I'm fully awake hearing this voice say, warning, 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 warning. So that was 10 to 12 years ago. Now 2020, I get two rapture dreams back to back. And... I got these dreams like days after getting on YouTube and listening to all of these testimonies of the rapture um, by other people. And I mean, in my heart, I was wondering like, how are these people getting this many dreams and stuff back to back? Is this real? And God showed me, yes, it's real because it happened to me also. So I think God is trying to wake up and he's trying to warn his church. We have to be ready. We can't wait until we feel Jesus coming or after he come to beg and please. We have to be ready in advance. We got to be in prayer. We got to be in worship. We're supposed to be overcoming the world of flesh and the devil. We can overcome. We have victory over the world by the blood of Jesus. I mean, there is victory in him and who he is and in his strength. We are able to over overcome. So I just wanted to share those rapture dreams with you guys um i also had this one other like this one i didn't really think of being a rapture dream but it might be hearing other people's testimonies but i had this one dream like years before that i think i was younger and i could see jesus and basically an angel i couldn't tell if it was jesus or an angel in the cloud it kept kind of my mind kept going back and forth in this dream but my sister was beside me and I was asking her, could she see him? And both of us were looking at the sky and she was like, no, I can't see him, but I could see him. But then like reading, you know, rapture testimonies, I'm hearing people say that some people can't hear the trumpet or some people aren't going to be able to see him during the rapture, only the people that are ready. But in times, body of Christ, stay encouraged, keep the faith. We will make it and see you in the clouds.